going on guys welcome to the channel thanks for tuning in we are in mexico we are going to san miguel de la de la Young okay, i'm being looked at laughed at but uh right now we're at the uh what's tarot airport i don't know how to pronounce this but we are going to san miguel it's about an hour away i think we're going to try to do the uber it's about 50 55 dollars for an uber that's a pretty thing isn't it? yeah so yep, yeah, they do have Uber here, so we're gonna catch an Uber. All right, guys. First adventure right here. Bedroom. There's like four or five bedrooms with baths. Sleeps 12. About how much was it? It's about 2,000 US dollars for four nights. Not bad. You split that. Yeah, 12 people and um, like five bedrooms, five baths. And we have two uh, ladies here that are here to clean and cook and everything for you we get a, a american continental breakfast every morning that's included if we want something extra just pay them they'll go grocery shopping or whatever and cook it in the kitchen back there i'll give a full uh, house tour as soon as we find a guest that we just happen to lose we don't know where he went but uh yeah so San Miguel, San Miguel Deli in there. Let's go find some food, I'm hungry. All the roads here are cobblestone, Spanish architecture. So uh, make sure you uh, wear some comfortable shoes. They kind of hurt. That was delicious. And I forgot to film the food, but just imagine tilapia fish tacos. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I think that's rated number one restaurant here, too. So. I'm gonna walk around, check out the uh, city or the town a little bit as that motorcycle goes by. See what else is going on. What were you saying about the bells? They're going off for a long period of time, and it's due to I think people, maybe kids, are up there. Yeah, kids being kids. <laughs> So let's go. Alright guys, let's go inside and check it out for four days. Check out the table y'all. Underneath there is a roulette table. You can play checkers or you do roulette. You got chips that they provide as well. This is one of four bedrooms. 
all the bedrooms, I think two or three of them have uh, queen beds. They all have uh, bathrooms and showers. This is the third bedroom, another queen. And this is the courtyard. We have all of the space to ourselves. We got another little dinette table right there. We'll probably have breakfast there tomorrow morning. And then the kitchen. Let's go check out the kitchen. A little living room area over here. Another dining room area over here. And we got the kitchen over here. And we got the laundry, laundry uh, and the uh, maid service. Let's go check out the upstairs bedroom. All right, guys, we're going up here to our last bedroom. Looks like we got a queen and a twin, and it's got a huge walk in closet. And of course, We got the bathroom. And I think I already said that all the rooms have fans. And the living room area does have a, a portable AC unit. That's it, that's where we're staying for four days. Check out all the pigeons on that statue. Oh, yeah, there are some. <laughs> Let's see if we can go inside this church. What was going on inside? Uh, it's the day it's like before. the Last Supper. Yeah, the representation. Uh, and everyone gets like a loaf of bread or like a swab with some like palms too. Check that out. A little market, a street, street food market. A lot of vendors out here trying to sell balloons, toys, hats, you name it. They're selling it. It's pretty cool. I haven't really got a price on anything yet. I will. Stay tuned. How much is that? 200. 200? 200 almost, pesos. Almost free today. Almost free. That's like what, $10? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Now you done it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think? Yay? No? Yay? 200? It's 200 pesos. Is that a good deal? I mean, leave a comment below if you know. <laughs> Maybe 200. I don't know. I'm probably still overpaying. Century year old Gothic church next to something that looks like from England. I can't tell. Can't exactly tell what that building is. Maybe we'll find out tomorrow. This looks like a pretty cool place to try out. Looks like they got a rooftop bar, I'm not sure. Classic enchiladas. Gonna give it a whirl. Looks good. And you know what? I turned it on you. Seems 
a little town that's just full of these rooftop bars. It's everywhere. Rooftop bars, restaurants. Pretty fancy. Got a great view too at night. And we were at a Mexican restaurant uh, earlier for yep. dinner. Just stopped here and this is like a steakhouse. Ah, good morning everybody. Still, this is day two. Uh, we're still in uh, San Miguel. Um, we're gonna check out the town, get some breakfast, get some caffeine. Really tired, but uh, yeah, welcome. Oh, hey guys, I forgot to mention we're doing a walking tour today. I think it's like a two or three hour walking tour. We're gonna rock, walk around, you know, uh, some of the sites and uh, check the city out. So, come on. As the town comes alive, we're headed off to our walking tour. So it is very different, but from here you can see like part of the towers that they take out the towers because they were falling down and still they wanted to have part for the original structure for the first, uh, for the second construction. Um, you know, like a people going in the inside uh, because uh, people they were seeing like this one, it is just like a clothing, so they don't care about clothing, so it is just like a jewelry. Uh, so they didn't find it and they just crossed, so they didn't go back in the inside. So that's why they start to put like all these color events to pull your attention and you were able to walk in the inside of the places. So so it is it is allowed. You you don't have like any charge. This part where we are right now, there was like nothing. So there was like a, only fields, like a, it was one building, two buildings that it was for, for the haciendas or different buildings. So actually these houses start to be built in the um, 1930s, 1940s, 50s, 60s. has like a couple of years and uh, because of the income of the owners like at that time so it is just right away here so and I think three sculptures from the main square which is Jesus Christ doing the, the cross on the back it is uh, Mother Mary uh, La Veronica this is another crying lady and St. John the Baptist so that is the four of them that will be standing here Yeah, 
images. Okay. What kind of tacos are these? Pastor. Pastor? B. The shrimp tacos looking pretty good too. and crafts and t-shirts and bags and anything you could possibly want. Jewelry. Hey y'all, so we're at Three Maria Steakhouse. So we're gonna have some delicious steaks here on the uh, rooftop bar. Check out the views, good company. It's going down. Yeah. All right. Got all right. Some, uh, little appetizers here. Is it all right? Yes. Is it all right? What do we got? Um, carnitas, some um, uh, sausage, and some cheese. Uh, yeah. Potato Argentina and potato-based cheese. Yeah. Tortillas are homemade. And really good. It's just falling apart everywhere. It's kind of making a mess. <laughs> like I can't eat it. That's all yours. Oh yeah. So that's our tomahawk steak. I'm scared. Out here. That's a lot of food. How many ounces? Or it's like 900 grams. 32 ounces? Yeah. What do you think, babe? Looks delicious. <laughs> How's that big old uh, bone? Yeah. Okay, what about Ken? How's that bone, Ken? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another day at San Miguel de Aliente. Here we're gonna catch uh, catch a tour. We're gonna do some, uh, some horseback riding. As this loud bus goes by, I don't know if you can hear me. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some horseback riding and uh, do some venture, uh, probably about three or four okay. hours worth. And have lunch. And have lunch. Good is today. All right. Let's see who gets bucked off first. My, the odds are on her, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Well, this is it, we're here. What do you think about this? This one's fine with me. Yeah, to 150, that's about eight bucks. This looks probably more like me. Okay. Tough decision. I know, for hard. Eight dollar hat. I'll do this one. <laughs> Today, we're gonna do a, a two, three, and a, three hour ride. It was two and a half hours of riding. It's a 20, 20, 30 minute break up at the top. And we're gonna basically be exploring the main canyon for the whole state of Guanajuato, okay? And the steering, I just have to steer a tiny, tiny bit and you respond to my command. So basically, the shorter you hold the reins, the quicker your horse is gonna to respond to your hand signals, okay? And it's that easy. Loosen up, kick to advance, pull back to stop. Now, once you've stopped, if you continue to pull back, your horse does have reverse. If he's backing up, it's because you're making him back up. Stop pulling back on the reins and stop backing up. All right, getting all saddled up, getting ready to go. Yeah. How's it going back there? I'm doing good. Right. We're gonna be ranch hands one day. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that.
That was fun. That was fun. That almost came up to my shoes. <laughs> oh, look at these cows. Too. Or maybe it did a little bit come up to my shoes. Oh, excuse me. What's up in? I think that was uh, dinner last night. down there all the way up here on horseback the knees are shot yep stretching the legs It's a vegetarian lunch. She got that one. Mm. It's pretty good though. Anything's good when you're hungry. Mm. to come back and get some. a cucumber flavor margarita and a french one spicy i'm trying it's really good cheers so, i just got the frozen mar uh frozen mojito it's pretty good <laughs> cheers oh yeah this place is legit very boozy that plate was moving <laughs> what was that what the Oh, I like it a lot. What's it called? It's a San Miguel. 
Miguel Moscow Mule. It's just San Miguel with, Mule. With, with oh, with it, uh, San Miguel Mule with tequila. Good morning, <laughs> Sam from San Miguel Deliente. Still, this is our last day. So yesterday we did the horse uh, excursion. So that's an advanced excursion. Uh, if you have any kind of knee problems or back problems or whatever, you probably don't want to do that. I'll leave a link in the description below. Yes. Yeah, so today is Easter Sunday. So it's beautiful here i love how they you know just endure and do lots of different um activities for easter weekend so we'll see how today goes and watch stay tuned all right so this is the heads of judas mm -hmm. that they explode here uh, on easter sunday today They'll be hanging, I think, up there in the explosion so everybody can see around the square. Oh, okay. So At least it's what they Okay, that's, that's today around noon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, check it out. Always the line out the door in this place. So, must be good. We're going to check it out. Have brunch. Very, uh, very popular. Very popular. <laughs> 20 minutes turned to be 45 minute wait. Yeah. What'd you get? Some chicken enchiladas for breakfast. Mm, I got some kind of omelet looking thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. To see the heads of Judas. So I'm going to assume a bunch of these are politicians and stuff that we don't know. Alright, that's what people have said, so... here at the Baja taco place. <laughs> I got the tilapia tacos. I got a crab taco and then a spicy shrimp taco. Highly recommend it. This place is awesome. Mm. When you come back here a second time in a weekend, you know it's good. Tacos. I think I'll get about four of them.
Let's do a street food, y'all. Good morning from our love garage. This is our last day going home. It was a fun weekend. Did a lot of things. Try to make this a good video for you guys. Uh, yeah, we did some horseback. That was fun. Walked around the town. That was fun. It's pretty busy. It's good times. I'm tired.